Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and it's March 18th, 2017, which means today is my 35th birthday. Now, every year on my birthday, I go fish shopping. And this year is no different. Now, my tank's full of coral, it's full of fish, but you know what? I think we can cram a few more in. So, let's go birthday shopping. To begin the day, we went to Animal Attraction in Greeley, Colorado. Animal Attractions is one of my favorites. I've been shopping there for almost 20 years now. In fact, this is where I bought my first tank. Now, I love this store. They have a full line of freshwater reptiles in what matters to me, salt water. They've got two frag tanks stuffed full of coral, a big fish room. This is a great place to go. The other thing that was awesome about Animal Attraction on that day is the night before, they had just got a new saltwater fish and coral order, and they had a lot of really cool stuff. The thing that caught my eye was this copper bag. It had been here about a day, and it was eating mice. It wasn't eating mice voraciously, but it was eating them pretty good. And with only being a day in a reef store to be eating mice pretty good, I decided to pull the trigger. So yes, I got another copper band. So I just got home from Animal Attractions and I am quarantining the new butterfly fish. He looks really good. He was eating at the store. So we'll see how he does. Now that the copper band's in the tank, it's time for a bit of lunch. For lunch, we sat on the patio of one of my favorite restaurants, ate, drank, and had a great time. And now it's time for more fish shopping. So we went to Alpine Koi and Reef. Alpine Koi and Reef is a really cool store. They have a really nice selection of fish and coral. But this store it really stands apart because it's also a full pond supply store. They've got big koi, everything you would need to install a pond, and I actually think that's their bread and butter, is the pond side of the business. Nevertheless, when you're done looking at coral, it's great to go outside and see the water fixtures and the big koi and dream of the really big pond that I hope to have in the future. We were then off to the Fish Crew in Fort Collins, Colorado. The Fish Crew is an awesome store. It's really nice and again has a great selection of fish and coral. They have a huge 2,000 gallon displaced tank, three frag tables, just a really nice setup with high quality fish and coral. Always a fun place to go when you want to fill, kill a few hours of the day. With the shopping out of the way, it was time to head home and do some actual work on the tank. So when we got home, it was time to work on the 24 gallon nano. The problem with this tank is it was being ruled by a psycho killer. The leopard wrasse that lived in there had killed just about anything we put in there with it. I had tried a clown goby, clown fish, he kills everything, so it wasn't gonna work. Plus, long term, this tank was too small for that fish anyways. So it was time to tear the tank down and get that leopard wrasse out. The problem is leopard wrasse is hiding the sand. So we had to tear the entire tank down and catch that leopard wrasse, which meant digging through the sand until we could get him to pop up and catch him with a net. Now that was easier said than done, but we got him out of there. It was a pain to get this fish out of there, but he had to go. So I thought he'd be safe in the 210 gallon tank. So I put him in and this guy I thought was such a bully he wouldn't have any problem with the tangs and the wrasse that was in there. But I was wrong. This fish got in a fight with the powder blue and the wrasse that was in there hid under the dirt. I watched him go in. The next morning I saw him up in the rock where everything looked okay with him. I had to go do some stuff. When I got home I didn't see him. I haven't seen this fish since. I haven't seen this fish in four days. I don't know if he's hiding behind the sand. I don't know if he's gone down one of the drains into the sump downstairs. I cannot find this fish. So I'm a little sad. I kind of thought that he didn't need an acclimation box or anything because he was such a brutal killer in the 24 gallon tank. I thought he would do fine. I haven't given up hope on him. I think he might be in there alive somewhere and that he'll come out of the sand or wherever he's at. But it's been four days and I still can't find him. So that's kind of how all this goes, right? You do your best, you try to plan, and you do that. On the bright side, 
the 24 gallon is redone. We took the opportunity to re-aquascape it. It looks good, and now we can actually make that a nice, peaceful little reef tank. We can get some fish in there that are gonna be able to mix with other fish and do really well together. And that's really what I'm looking for in this tank. So the 24 gallon is off to a great start. I think it looks really good now that we've re-aquascaped it, everything's done. We've taken some of the Sinulara out because it was good and overgrown. And now we've got some room for more Zoanthids and other stuff and I think it looks great. So I'm looking forward to how this tank ends up. So for more on that, watch future episodes of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.